Today we're going to be opening up a Lost Origin Sword and Shield booster box. We're going to be looking for multiple alt arts out of this set and also the Pikachu card. The VMAX from the Trainer Gallery. Let's go ahead and rip into this box and see what we can get. So I've opened up two Lost Origin booster boxes in total. This will be my third. And I've also opened up multiple hanger packs. Let's see if I can get this down here. I've had the most luck from the hanger packs out of this set. Booster boxes have been okay. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start on the left side of this box. Let's go ahead and see what we can get. Code card, there you guys. first pack I have a lot of ball playing around second pack here the card recently these booster box prices have been been getting crazy excuse me Magnezone V4. I'll definitely take that to start off a video. If I can find my sleeves here. Definitely not a first bat hit at all. Magnezone V Star full art. Alright, let's move into the next pack here. But yeah, these box prices have been getting really crazy. I think I just looked a little bit ago. And a Lost Origin box was like $135 plus shipping and tax. So. Hollow. Nothing there. But yeah. Um, I'll just order a new box, I guess. I cracked this one out of my sealed collection. Trying to make quality videos, not trash ones, so spend 135 bucks or whatever it is and get a new box. Alright, nothing out of that one. Would love to get that Garantina though. I haven't seen PSA 10 sell for like six, seven hundred dollars on eBay. Also, we would have to be incredibly lucky to pull even an alt art out of this box. I'm sure everyone's seen PokeRev's video where he could not pull that Aerodactyl and he streamed for hours. But there is a chance. Maybe we can get lucky. Sword V. But yeah, booster box wise, when I was looking earlier too, Lost Origin and Silver Tempest were close to the cheapest ones I think fusion strike and obviously battle styles were a little bit below it like maybe 120 all right I don't think I've ever pulled this one this trainer gallery card never seen this one that's cool
Drop a comment down below and let me know what your guys' favorite booster box is. Or which ones you have yet to open up. Also, a little tip for anyone watching. The uh, Scarlet and Violet, I know they're like saying they're pre-sale 160 on like a lot of websites. Oh, Radiant, Radiant Hit in Hollow. Definitely do not buy that box for $160. It's it's already down to like 130 just on just on TCG Player. If you guys know what that is, if not, just type in TCGPlayer.com. It's a it's a, like a trading card website. They have more than just Pokemon on there. They got like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, trying to think, they have like MetaZoo. They have all kinds of stuff on there. They have single cards. And I have bought singles off there before. Just You just have to make sure you check the seller you are purchasing the cards from. Make sure they have good feedback. Nothing there. That card looks pretty rough on the back there. Another hollow. Man. I swear, they love putting hollows in booster boxes. It's like all that's in it. Just watched someone I know open up a Silver Tempest box earlier, and they got like... I couldn't even tell you how many holographic cards were in the hit packs. have yet to ever pull an alt art card out of a booster box. Never has happened. And I have opened quite a few. Hopefully we can change that tonight with this box. And everyone I have asked about that too even on like other videos, I say like, how does everyone get their like best cards? Where do they come out of? And everyone said hanger packs. I think I might just start only opening hanger packs. I feel like they have the best odds out of anything. That's how I pulled my Umbreon and my Rayquaza. Most, most, of, most of the all of our cards from the Evolving Skies Master set came out of hanger packs. I also only did open one Evolving Skies booster box, unfortunately, and then I have one sealed up. Oh, there we go, Charizard. So probably one of the best trainer gallery cards you can get. Or the Gengar, whichever one you like more. I'm not sure what those are at price-wise right now, but definitely we'll take a Charizard card. And of course we had to get another hollow with it. Also drop drop a comment down below and let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the future. I have plans to do more like uh, PSA return videos. I have another submission almost on its way back. It's in the last couple stages. And then I'm going to be sending off some more cards here soon. Because PSA just dropped their prices to $15 a card again. But I could, I could also start showing off maybe some of my collection if you guys want to see that. Go through binders, just... Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. Don't try this and we're getting, getting kind of beat up on this box. The 
like we got a radiant card, one full art, which the full art's cool. A bunch of trainer gallery cards. We are literally have one pack left on the left side of the box. And the Del Fox, which I have about 30 of these. Which is all right, because I just take my V cards that I have and I just take them to a card shop and trade them all in for store credit and buy stuff with. Man, we are, this is literally, I can't believe we're halfway through this box and we have, we, we're getting smoked honestly on this box. Yeah, nothing. I mean, these are our hits on this box. We got the Charizard, Radiant Sneasler, Spirit, I don't even know how to say that. Zorak V and this Megazone full art. That is, that's pretty rough. Should have just kept this box sealed, it's looking like. But we still have a, we still have half a box. Things could change. Will they? Probably not. I've just opened so many packs now, I know how this goes. And nothing. But yeah, eventually I do want to crack my sealed Evolving Skies box, Pidgeot V. Now, the Evolving Skies box I have is a first print run box, which I bought for $117. And I've heard about Evolving Skies boxes, like first print runs. There was like an air box where there was like 30 hits in it. Just being, just being hopeful, but who knows? I've also heard of boxes having three hits in them, so. But I'm definitely gonna crack that box open for a video. I just, I just want to make sure I buy another box before I crack that one open, or maybe I'll crack the box I buy open. Drop a comment and let me know what I should do. Zone V Star. For a second, I thought maybe I had an alt art there, but nope. I also have a ton of the Magnezone V Star cards. I swear it's all they put in booster boxes. Nothing but V-Star cards and V-Cards. Can we at least get maybe a rainbow card? Gold, rainbow, anything? I mean, right now, this is, this is seriously probably the worst booster box I've ever opened. like a trainer gallery Pikachu that'd be nope and of course it's a hollow card radiant though I think the radiant cards are under a buck there's they print there's so many radiant cards every time I open a set I get a radiant card in an opening there's so many of them. All right. And nothing there. Man, we are really getting beat up. 
Uh, that's part of the game, though. When you risk it opening these boxes. The net. Trainer gallery. It's a cool card. But not what we're looking for. How about a Garatina or Aerodactyl? Or any old art at this point. Anything. Nope, just a Karen V. Let's see how many packs we have left. Eight packs left. I'm going to say this one right here we're going to save for last. This is the lucky pack right there. Get something. Nothing. I actually can't believe how bad this box is. Not even a not even like a trainer. Nothing. Maybe there's just a Garatina on the last pack or something. That's why the rest of the box is bad. All right. Let's see. All right. Gold card, at least. Dark patch. So there's our secret rare. How about... In all art. Another secret rare. There's a couple cards here at the end. Okay, better than what we had, definitely. Still kind of rough, but 10 times better than what we had before. If we would have only got a full art, might have never opened a booster box again. But I have seen booster boxes like uh, Evolving Skies where people only pull V cards out of it. I couldn't even imagine. And another hollow. Okay. So that takes us down to the last pack here. So hopefully, hopefully it is a hit. Or has that Pikachu in the trainer gallery. All right, let's really slow roll this pack. Donzong. Carless Experiment, Kamala, Slugma, Clefairy, Apom, Spinarak, Litwick, Arcanine, and nothing. So we're ending it off with an Arcanine Trainer Gallery. Let's recap these hits real quick. 
Let's see what we got here. So we got the Arcanine that we just pulled. Trainer card, Rainbow. Trainer Gold, Bennett, Radiant, V-Star, Charizard, Sneasler, Trainer Galley, Zark, and Magnuson. Could have been a lot worse, honestly, but still kind of rough. I still have yet to pull an all art from a booster box. But that's going to be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Before you go, please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. That's all. Peace.